Hi, my name is Darren McLernan and I'm a uh, System View Product Manager for Keysight ESOP EDA. We're here to talk about the latest release of System View 2016 that focuses on phased arrays and beam forming. We've done a couple of different things that are new for this release. One is we've abstracted our Dataflow system simulation product to be able to do not when you draw it once, but you can imitate a thousand channels of uh, phased array signals. And that's useful for 5G MIMO, for electronic warfare, for radars, and also for uh, new space satellite, where people are performing uh, from satellite images down on the ground to provide services. We've also uh, abstracted our RF cascaded chain simulator. So you draw it once, but you can simulate as if it has a thousand channels again. And with that, it's convenient and it, it accounts for all the non-linearities and all the performance issues of an RF array with all the, the antenna patterns and um, noise effects, but it still allows you to consider the performance of the array at the next higher level with dynamic beamforming. So for example, this array could be used in an electronic warfare system to track a plane as it flies around in a circle. You're aiming a beam to track, to track a plane. Or in 5G, a base station may be aiming at a, at a mobile to provide the, the best communication link. So what's important is having an accurate representation. If I change, for example, the number of array elements to, in this case, about 20 by 20, you can see that I analyzed 400 paths in a couple seconds, and I can look at the beam width and the amount of power delivered at, with side lobe levels toward a certain direction. And in a communication link or in a radar link, it tells me how much um, signal I can expect coming back, or in a communication system, my bit error rate um, and throughput. So in exploring the frequency dependence, I'm going to change the, the frequency to a higher frequency, um, or I can change the beam direction. I can interactively explore the limitations of this particular array. If I don't like it, I can change the array before I go build it. And what's key here is we're working at the system level on, on higher level scenarios but also working at a physical RF level with cascaded in a real uh, analog simulator. So the two of those together, being able to reuse that directly instead of uh, a lot of the different techniques um, that people use today, uh, unifies the design because you have MATLAB people using sort of uh, basic algorithms and equations at the beam forming level. You have radar and 5G architects looking at total systems you have RF architects and antenna engineers, and then test engineers. They all use different tools. How do they exchange anything? How do you co-validate the baseband and the RF together? Well, a tool like this can bring everything together in one place. And one of the things about System View is you can take um, a lot of domains like FPGA, M-code, um, baseband processing, RF processing. I can take any signal out of here and send it to a piece of test equipment to make that signal, or I can capture a signal out of test equipment and put it into my block diagram and interact with real live signals and equipment in my simulation loop. So in the beginning of a design, I start with all simulation. As things become available in the design, I replace things with higher fidelity models. And then by the end, I'm ready to test hardware prototypes and I can take the signals, whether they're OFDM or some 5G format or a radar chirp, and render them in test equipment and make very specific cases and have a continuous a tool that continuously follows you through the design process. So what people have been doing up to this point is every domain has a different tool. We're unifying that process and making it more professional so that you can cross-validate that so that you can validate the performance on the first day of a project instead of having to wait until the last day of a project when everything has been built and you're bolting things together and then it doesn't work and then everyone's working Saturdays. So the predictive aspect of this with accuracy and over several domain levels 
is really kind of the contribution. We're, we're pulling a lot of things together. Um, and it, it also connects to the ADS software um, through X parameters, to instruments, and to uh, MATLAB. We actually have uh, MATLAB script native inside the platform to be able to handle equation processing. So whatever, whatever tool you have, it can connect to this flow. So we think that people in 5G, electronic warfare, and satellite will really find this a particular uh, enhancement to system view attractive. For more information about this particular uh, product, uh, please visit the, the, the System View website. On, on Keysight, just look for System View or uh, W1720 uh, for the Phase Array product that's uh, being represented here. Thanks very much.